What you guys got another video here for you on how to allow standard user accounts to install Windows updates. Now, yesterday I made a video to show you how to protect yourself by using a standard account, but having the administrator where you can put in your password and install programs and make different changes to your account without compromising yourself by running an administrator account. So let's go ahead and go into group policy. This is a gpedit.msc and we need to open this up so we can make a change so we can now install Windows updates for this standard account. I'll show you how to do this on a Windows 10 home machine as well. So we're on a Windows 10 Pro machine here. Go to Computer Configuration, then down to Administrative Templates. Then what you want to do is go down to Windows Components. Then what you want to do here is navigate down a bit further and then come down to where it says Windows Updates. Now once you're inside here, you can then uh, go over to the right hand pane here and you can now see we've got Configure Automatic Updates. Now this into Automatic Updates is going to allow you to configure it to your own needs and uh, basically go into here, push Enable and you can then make changes to uh, whatever you want to do here. So you can see auto download and notify for install. And you can also make some other changes in here if you wish by clicking on the drop down arrow and uh, basically set this up how you want. So click on that and make your changes. So you can see here, allow local admin to choose settings, allow download and schedule install, auto download and notify for install. All these settings, you can choose which one suits you and uh, set this up to your own needs. You can also install during automatic maintenance. That's another thing you can do. You can also schedule a day and also a time uh, for your update to happen. You can also do it for every week, every month or whatever it is by doing that in this location here. Once you've got this set up to exactly how you want it, you can then apply an OK. Now the next bit is for the standard user to allow them to install Windows updates. So what you want to do here is go down a bit further in the same location, allow non-administrators to receive updates and notifications. So inside here, uh, you want to enable this and this will then allow you to get updates for a standard user. So a standard user will get those updates through their system. So once you've configured it all, that should be it. You should be able to still get updates running as a standard user without having to constantly uh, go back into your administrator account and update the machine. You won't have to do that by using this method. So if you want to do this on a Windows 10 home system because you don't have Group Policy Editor, I'm going to make a quick uh, tutorial here to show you how to do it. So go into the registry editor by typing reg edit in the start. This will open up the registry editor and then you want to go to this location here. So H key local machine, software, then go into policies. Once you go down to policies, then you want to open this up, go Microsoft. Inside here, you want to go down to where it says Windows. And of course you won't see Windows update here because you're on a Windows 10 home system. So what you need to do is right click on the uh, Windows folder and create a new key just put in there Windows updates I'll quickly show you so Windows and then updates all one word with the capitals in there and then on our right hand pane we can add in our new value and this will give us the power to install updates so new D word 32 bit value and what you need to add in here is this so you need to put in here elevate and then you need to put in non n o n and then you need to add in admins so elevate non admins now once we've done this we can push enter and then enter our value of one now this is not going to make any major changes to the operating system like allow programs to come through or anything like that all it's going to do is allow um, Windows updates to come through because we're in that Windows updates directory which we created okay so it's not going to make um, 
like major changes are like allowing programs and malware and stuff like that to come through. So put a value of one in there and push enter and then reboot your system and you should be good to go and you should be able to receive Windows updates on that standard user account. Okay, I hope this one helps you out. I can't remember who requested it. it was in the comment section, but thanks again for uh, watching and thanks for your requests. I'll see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.